see what kind of speeds we got there. What guys? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and I have a special video for you guys today. We have the Bandit VXL and the Typhon 3S. We're going to test them both out here on the street, see how each one of them runs. We're going to uh, do some speed tests. I think I kind of already got an idea of who's going to win in that category. And again guys, both of these cars I'm running stock. Stock gearing for the Bandit here, stock gearing for the Typhon. The only upgrades I've done to the Bandit is the Anaconda tires and the Willy bar. Other than that, it's purely stock. So let's get it. All right guys, first off, we're gonna start off with the Bandit. And I am using a 3S battery. It's a 4,000 milliamp uh, LiPo. It's a Traxxas battery. So we're gonna do a run first guys on the street to see how each one performs on the street. And then we'll do a speed run. So here we go. One thing I love about the Bandit guys it's those wheelies, man. Bandit will wheelie on command, guys. That's for sure. My new wheelie king. Guys, I've never done a, a stock speed run or a speed test with the Bandit, so I'm kind of excited to see what kind of speeds we're getting out of the box. That steering trim, guys, is dialed in just perfectly. I'm pretty much just giving it throttle and that's it. I don't think I've changed anything on the settings on this car except for turning down the TSM. The steering's been set pretty good out of the box since I got it. That's full throttle, guys. We'll come back down this way. We'll give it another full throttle pass. All right, guys, that's full throttle. Ben, it's really, really good at holding wheelies, guys. All right, guys, next up, we have the 3S Typhon. Again, we're running everything stock. We are using a Spectrum Smart battery. It's a 50C, 5,000 milliamp, 3S. The Typhon, just like the uh, Bandit guys, is pretty dialed in out of the box. Both of them guys drive pretty good on the street. Both of them drive pretty straight right out of the box. I mean, I'm giving minimal, minimal uh, input here on the wheel. I'm pretty much just giving it throttle guys and it's pretty dialed in now the Typhon is sliding around a little bit uh, that's mainly due to the tires because the Typhon the Typhon's tires have tread on them they're mainly used for off-road dirt sand grass and with this gravel we have on the street it kind of makes it slide around a little bit but we can always change the tires oh that ain't no big deal Alright guys, now that you've seen the Typhon and the Bandit VXL in action here on the street, 
we're gonna go ahead and do the speed run test to make sure we have enough battery to get the speeds we want. All right guys, first up, we have the Typhon and we are zeroed out. So we're gonna do this first run. We're gonna go back a little bit because the street's kind of uneven. So I wanna make sure we can get as fast as we can without wrecking out. So again, we're zeroed out and here we go. All right guys, here we go. That's full throttle. That's full throttle all the way back. Got to stop before we hit that end of the road there. It's kind of uneven. Let's see what we got. Top speed, 46 miles an hour. Remember guys, we're running stock. That's not bad for what this is. And you got to remember these tires are meant for off-road. So that could be playing a, a part in it as far as, you know, not getting the full street tra traction like the uh, other tires on the Bandit have. So we might, we might test that out, guys. We might change out the tires for street tires next time. But for now, our first run is 46. All right, guys. We're zeroed out again. This is our sec second attempt. Our maximum speed was 46 miles an hour. We're going to try to beat that now. This time we're gonna go down this way, guys. So we'll bring it back a little bit. We gotta stop before we hit that other street over there though, because there's like an inch and a half uh, gap on that other street. We don't wanna hit that, we'll bottom out. All right, guys, here we go. Full throttle. You gotta hit the brake. And then we'll bring it back. Full throttle. All right, guys, let's see what speed we got. Again, guys, looks like we got 46 miles out an hour. We're gonna try to see if we can't hit 50 at least. Back at zero. Here we go, third attempt. We gotta beat 46 miles an hour, guys. All right, guys, here we go. Full throttle. There we go, we're gonna go full throttle all the way back. Uh-oh. Looks like we lost some communi communication there with the radio. That was weird. Well, let's see what kind of speed we got. Looks like we had some interference, guys, with the radio. I've never seen that happen before. Again, we're at 46 miles an hour. All right, guys, we're zeroed out again. Something weird happened with the radio. I tried to give it throttle and it wouldn't respond, which was kind of weird. That's never happened before. I don't know what caused the interference. Uh, I'll make sure that I include it in this video though, so you guys can see it. Kind of threw me off there for a little bit, but hopefully that doesn't happen again. We weren't that far away, so, and that's never happened before, so I don't know what's going on. But we're gonna do one, one last pass, guys. We had three runs. The third one didn't really count because we had the issue with the radio. So we're gonna run it one more time and see if we can't beat that speed 46 miles an hour. So let's get it. All right, guys, here we go. And we're gonna bring it back. Oh, see, look, we're getting a lag. We're getting a lag there. So I don't know what's going on there, guys. That's not good. That's not good, guys. I was giving it throttle and it wasn't responding. Okay, on that last run, we got 45 miles an hour. So 46 is the number to beat. Next up is the Bandit. And I got a good feeling, guys, the Bandit is probably gonna smoke this car, but I, I kinda already figured that anyway. Might not have been a fair fight, but let's see. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, next up we have the Bandit VXL. We are zeroed out. I have the GPS here on the front to kind of weigh down the front so that we don't wheelie as much because we're trying to get our top speed here. Again, guys, we're running stock. Everything is stock on this Bandit except for the tires and wheelie bar. The, the pinion and spur, all stock. So here we go, we're at zero. 
I'm gonna bring it down here so we can get a good long stretch. Here we go, guys. Still busting a wheelie. Kinda had to slow down there. We'll bring it back full speed here. There's a bump in the road down there I gotta watch out for. If I hit that, then it's all over. All right, guys, I'm curious. Just like you, I wanna know how fast this thing is stock out of the box. Fifty miles an hour, guys. That's fifty miles an hour right out of the gate, and that's just our first run. We're just getting warmed up. Let's see if we can't get. I was full throttle on both of those runs, but however, when I did that first pass, I had to slow up because there's an uneven spot in the street over there. And I'm telling you guys, if I hit that spot, it's all over. It's, it might flip this thing, and that's the last thing I want to do. So we're gonna go ahead and start it back at zero remember 50 is the number to beat or zeroed out guys here we go i'm gonna take it a little bit further down so we can get a little more time on the street all right we're gonna turn around about here get centered up all right guys here we go almost hit the bird there all right we had to hit the brakes. We'll bring it back again, full speed. Whoa. Okay. Again, guys, 50 miles an hour. We're zeroed out again. I'm gonna do that run again. Remember, 50 is the number to beat. We're still at 50. We've already surpassed the Typhon which I kind of knew that was going to happen. I just wanted to see by how bad the Bandit would smoke the Typhon. But yeah, I kind of already knew that, guys. I mean, the Bandit VXL out of the box is super fast, man. I'm telling you guys. All right, here we go. Slow down. Look like we got somebody walking down there. We'll bring it back full speed. Wheelies all the way down the street. That is so sick, guys. I love this car. The way it wheelies, it's just awesome. All right, let's bring it back. See what kind of speeds we got there. What, guys? 55 miles an hour? Are you kidding me? 55 miles an hour guys out of the box stock no gearing changes i'm telling you guys that is amazing guys 55 miles an hour i can't believe that out of the box stock gearing guys stock gearing we're gonna zero it out again now 55 is the number to beat 46 was as fast as we got with the typhon all right guys we're zeroed out again I'm gonna go a little bit further back. That did help us out when we went further back. It gave us a little more street to work with. Okay. And we're turning around here, get centered up. All right, guys, here we go. 55 is the number to beat. That's full throttle. Okay, we'll bring it back around. Full throttle coming back. Almost ran over myself with that one. But I just didn't want to stop. 54 guys, 54 miles an hour. That's crazy. That's pretty good, man. Stock. That's pretty that's pretty good. I can only imagine what kind of speed you would get with a high speed pinion. Probably be pushing 60, 65. Pretty impressive. Now when I thought about making this video, I kind of figured, you know, it wouldn't be fair running the Bandit VXL against the Typhon 3S. But I was just curious, you know, I just wanted to see um, 
how big of a difference it would be. So now we know. Typhon, we hit 46. Was the max speed. And the uh, Bandit VXL, 55 miles an hour, guys. That's pretty good for a two-wheel drive, too. That's pretty good. Um, I think what I'm going to do, guys, I am going to end up getting me an optional speed pinion if you guys have any suggestions on uh which one i should use or what kind of gear ratios are best for speed runs with this car let me know in the comments my opinion the typhon is my favorite out of the arma 3s line hands down the bandit is also one of my favorites uh, i want you guys to just leave in the comments what you think about each uh, car how you think each one performed and i'm curious to see what we get in the comment section um especially with the uh bandit vxl man that's pretty impressive 55 miles an hour guys i appreciate you watching if you like what we do on the channel make sure to like comment and subscribe it really helps me out this is rc review signing out and we'll see you guys next time later